Hey, well, hello to everyone out there in YouTube land. I hope that everybody is doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. I just wanted to come and just encourage us um, while we are waiting on the Lord. We know that it is so hard sometimes to wait on the Lord, especially when we're in like crucibles or very tough places or we have very, t you know, very tough um decisions to make or you know we're just in a jam you know we're between jobs we're between homes we're between marriage you know something you know going on with our children uh you know it, it could be you know economics i mean it could be so many things and we're there's so many you know things that we desire we're asking the lord for something and we're waiting on him and it's hard sometimes we're like oh my goodness well, you know what's gonna happen or what's it you know whatever but the the important thing to do even though we're requesting something and you know we want it we have to be sure uh, or, or to you know be sure to uh, let God know, not my will, but your will be done, oh Lord. You know what I mean? Even if it's sickness or whatever, we still have to always ask him, you know, or, you know, let him know that it's about his will being done, not our will. And that takes courage uh, and it takes strength to do that, you know. Especially when you, you know, want something and you want it a certain way or you want, you know, a certain thing. But we have to know that God knows the end of a thing from the beginning. Okay. I'll say that again. God knows the end of the thing from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? So he already knows, you know, what's going to transpire and, you know, da, 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 da. He is, you know, he already knows. So we have to trust him and trust that he'll make everything work out for our good. You know what I mean? We will not be put to shame in the, in the situation, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So we have to trust because he, you know, good things come from God. You understand what I mean? He and he wants good for us. He said, you know, if I'm taking care of sparrows and grass and flowers and stuff like that, how much more would I do for you? And, and in another scripture, he said, even you who who uh, give know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will I give to you as a child? You know what I'm saying? Of his, a child of his now, because another uh, thing people believe that or they'll say erroneously that. We're all God's children. You're not a child of God if you have not accepted him as your father in heaven or as your Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You must do that, you know, if you want to be his child. Prior to that, you are his creation. He created us. Uh, but if you don't ask him to, you know, you don't submit to him, then you can't be his child. You know, how, you know, how does that work, you know, with parenting someone that, you know, you know, you don't understand what I'm saying. So just, uh, you know, give it over to him. Just release it, whatever it is, just release it into his hands and allow him to take control of everything and he'll lead and he'll guide you through everything, you know, one step at a time. This is what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen. But he'll give you so much peace instead of you worrying about it and trying to figure it out and trying to work on it and all of that. Put it in God's hands because, I mean, what the Bible say about worrying, how much is it going to add to our stature or whatever? It's not going to help us it will cause it may cause hypertension okay <laughs> a little high blood pressure you know and stress you know bad stress real bad stress but but that you know that's uh you know because cause health issues so just give it over to him let him know you're giving it over to him <laughs> and just release it and let him know you know I just want you to be in control of this, Lord. Please take over, you know, over, take over and whatnot. And sometimes 
when you do that, some things may seem like, oh, like, no, like it's going south, like it's not going right. But on that pathway, it's still good. You know, it's on that pathway, you're going to find good. I mean, there's so many times God will say, do this, do that or whatever. And he will expose, you know, show another, you know, a good way to go or whatever. It's just amazing. Just the way he works is like, a, like the word says, his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are high and above our thoughts. They're far above our thoughts. We cannot, we'll never, ever be able to compare to God or really know him. You know, I was just um, a couple a couple of uh, examples, like not too long ago, someone was asking me to do something um, or telling me about some situation. Um uh, that involved me and I was so I said you know okay I I, I at first you know I just you know it, the person is a little you know anyway never mind about that so I I, I, I didn't want I just didn't want to respond to the situation but then I just said like I got prompted to say you know the peace right in order to allow peace to reign in this situation Ask, you know, go ahead and comply with the situation. So I responded by trying to comply with the situation. Then, the, you know, then the person came back with this silly response, you know, and it's like, okay, I see, you know, I see where God was going with this. And I see that the person is just kind of full of nonsense right now. So, you know, so, but, but, but it's just things God will just show you. Uh, it, it's just amazing. He's just too amazing. <laughs> you know, I'm just when you especially when you comply, when you submit, when you just release everything over to him. You know what I mean? Uh it's it's, it's amazing just that peace and that relief is just amazing and whatever. And um you know, everything will work out for you in Jesus' name. Uh, just like I said, just just submit it. It's not easy when you know, especially when you're someone that's used to being in control and you're used to working things out for yourself, or or even you've done you know other situations have happened before, you know, uh, you know. Anyway, just submit it to him, and he will give you uh, the peace and help you work the situation out. Again, it's not easy to. It's really not easy, uh, you know, to submit everything to God, you know, sometimes. And it's not easy to wait on him. But it's something that we have to do for a great outcome. God knows exactly what we need when we need it. And another thing is, especially when you're dealing with certain circumstances, I know during COVID or during this pandemic, many individuals have faced a lot of economic hardship. People have lost jobs. They have lost homes. You know, just certain, and so many things. And you have been f- afraid to answer your phone, open your mail. <laughs> you know, uh, you know all of this type of stuff. Do not fear man. Okay, the Bible says, "Do not fear man." What can man do to you? He can dis- destroy your body, but God is can dis- can destroy our soul. Okay, He will, you know, you know what I mean. So don't be afraid of man. They can't do anything to you. If they take your car, so what? Let them. If you can always buy a new car. You think God can't bless you with another car? I mean, cars are everywhere. All you gotta do is have a, you know, get you a down payment, or if you, if you if it's needed, or get you a payment. You know what I'm saying? The cars are everywhere, and they're available. Okay, if they take your home, there are so many places that you can rent. Okay, you you know, prayerfully, you will not go homeless. Uh, but there are also hotels and other ways to live, you know, with shelter. You understand? Especially if you do it in time where you don't destroy your credit or whatever. You know, um, you know, they, you know, whatever they, you know, 
try to threaten you and say they're going to take from you or if you owe money, whatever. Don't fear them because they can't hurt you. You know what I'm saying? They can take those little physical, little personal, uh, uh, little uh, property from you or whatever they are. But that doesn't that doesn't really mean a lot. You know what I mean? It does not take your life. It doesn't make you a, le- a lesser person. Prayer, you know, if you're a child of God, you still you're still a child of God. Okay. It, it don't let it affect your soul. It's not pleasant, and sometimes you gotta, you know, make other arrangements. It might not be convenient and comfortable, or whatever. But sometimes we gotta, we suffer inconveniences. You know what I'm saying? So just be strong in Jesus' name, and uh, put on your big, big girl or your big boy, uh, you know, unders. <laughs> And keep it moving and, and, and know that God is with you. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Those of us who are in you good, you're in good standing with the Lord, trust and know that he is with you and he is there to help you. Okay. So that's my encouragement today. Just wait on the Lord and be of good courage while you are doing it. And do not be afraid of what man can do to you. There are so many people they they don't reverence God, they don't fear God, but they fear man. You know, you gotta change. You gotta change that <laughs> quickly. So I love you very much, and prayerfully this has helped someone and uh, bring you comfort and strength. You know, because you got work to do out here, okay? And you need to continue, you know, building your relationship with the Lord. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, so I love you again. And uh, we always are praying for uh, each other and praying for our strength in the Lord and that we are, you know, becoming what God wants us to be. So, we'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.